All right, so jumping straight into this before we get into the spreadsheet and before we go over all of the numbers, just want to go over a few things here. First of all, we're going to be starting at 22 million. So once I sell everything, we're going to do a bunch of math and figure out how much we spent on flea market fees. And we're going to add that into this as well. Basically, for the last eight days that I've been doing my normal crafting, I've had a piece of paper next to me and I've been writing down every single thing that I've bought in order to craft items. I've wrote it down to the very ruble. So every single number is exact. I may or may not have missed a few things here and there but it's not really going to change the outcome that much but just thought i'd let y'all know and i'll probably throw up a little screenshot of that sheet of paper so you guys can see that i actually did do it because there's probably going to be people in the comments that are like oh you're full of shit anyways this is going to be a breakdown for only the crafts that i do solely to make money so real quickly jumping into the hideout in the lavatory i rotate between the ripstop and the gas mask air filter i've told you guys in the past i don't make much money off of these but sometimes the gas mask air filters get up to like 55k and that's when i do make money I don't really spend more than 50k on these gas masks so a little bit of profit there sometimes more sometimes less but i just do this to get a quick reset so i can just constantly craft rip stop and just get as much of this as i can because the price of this is very good so rip stop and gas mask air filters over here on the workbench i rotate between the red pliers and the green gunpowder red pliers i'm just doing because it does make a little bit of a profit but is a quick turnaround so i can get right back to the green gunpowder of course we're doing bitcoin of course we're doing moon shine we're generating all of our super waters with the water collector so we don't really have any costs there on the nutrition unit we're rotating between slickers and the ewrs i'm doing the slickers to use for the scab vest trade from jaeger so we can keep the rip stops going and then on the med station we are doing piles of meds and salewas i did include the cost of what i've spent on the salewas even though i don't craft them to sell them i craft them to use them but i did include that cost in there as well so that's a quick breakdown on everything that we craft if we go ahead and scroll down here i've already pulled everything out of junk boxes all that good stuff we got our filters up here green gunpowders rip stops moonshines ewrs the slickers that i had left over red pliers bitcoins whoops piles of meds hot rods and we got some more slickers down here but this is everything that we've crafted and we're gonna go ahead and sell it all again we're starting at 22 mil so once it's all sold i'll write down the flea market fees on our spreadsheet and then we will collect all of the money see how much we made and we'll go over to the spreadsheet and give you guys a breakdown so i'm going to time lapse all of this i will leave a timestamp below if you want to skip the time lapse and just skip ahead to all of the numbers and all that good stuff but i want it to be in the video in a time lapse so you guys know that i'm selling all these items for exactly what i'm telling you and everything's gonna be legit and you can't say anything to me in the comments because this video is for all you haters out there all you haters that say you can't make money in the hideout this is for you anyways real quick before we do jump in that time lapse i just want to give you a rough idea of what stuff is selling for air filter sitting around 50k green gunpowder sitting around 51k rip stop 38 to 40 moonshines around 320k these are actually up pretty good right now ewrs we're looking at around 21 22 slickers bars 16k we're gonna sell the red pliers and the bitcoins to therapists piles of meds 20k and hot rods around 10k but these are ones that i do at night we're just gonna be selling all the ones that i've collected and that is a lot so we're gonna jump to the time lapse and then once we're done selling everything we'll get back to the spreadsheet and go over all of the numbers
all right so everything has sold we have no offers left everything is gone i've held off on the bitcoins and the red pliers because i needed to get the number for our flea market fees so we're gonna go ahead and sell all of this collect everything from the flea market and then we will head over to the spreadsheet and look at our numbers by the way my bitcoin farm is only level two and i have 25 gpus in there so this is the result of eight days of that there we go we sold all that for about eight mil let's go ahead and collect everything from ragman that is quite a bit and we are sitting at 44 million seven hundred and forty nine thousand nine hundred and thirteen rubles so let's jump over to the spreadsheet and go over all the numbers okay so jumping straight into this spreadsheet one quick thing that i want to point out is i said i crafted for eight days but one of those days i actually didn't play the game at all my body kind of needed a reset i've been getting terrible sleep so i didn't play that day at all so this is actually crafting for seven days but quick overview on the chart we've got the date here these are all the different days that i crafted these items and it correlates across right here this column is going to be how much money i spent that day on the items needed to craft so for example if you don't understand what i mean by that anytime i spent money to buy something needed to do a craft i wrote that down and then at the end of the day i took everything on my little piece of paper added it up and we got these numbers here each day now my play sessions are roughly between three and five hours on average and this is just from crafting during that time i don't wake up in the mornings early rotate crafts i don't do anything like that this is literally me just crafting as i play the game between raids and stuff like that none of this was me just sitting there watching youtube rotating crafts this was normal gameplay what an average player would be able to do so basically on these days where you see the higher numbers it means i just played for a little bit longer and went through more crafts on that day and then the lower numbers means i just played a little bit less so i would say these 900 000 days are roughly about three to three and a half half hours of playing and then these upper ones like the 1.6 mil is around five hours of playing over here i included the fuel as well anytime i purchased a fuel i would add the cost in here you'll notice a lot of zeros that is because i was playing raids and finding fuel so i was slapping it in there and using it so we only needed to purchase fuel three times technically two because this one was one that i threw in like right at the end but i thought i would just add it in there anyways and then of course over here we've got the flea market fees so in total for these seven Seven days of crafting we spent eight million six hundred and twenty four thousand three hundred and twenty six rubles on buying the items needed to craft and then on top of that we spent another five hundred thousand four hundred and seventy two rubles on using fuel and keep in mind i do not have solar power i just have a normal generator level three so this is normal fuel consumption and then once we sold everything we had nine hundred and sixty eight thousand and seventy rubles worth of flea market fees so all in all in total the money that we spent in order to get all of these crafted items was 9,592,396 rubles. So I know a lot of you are thinking that's a lot. Maybe you don't have that much to fund it, but keep in mind, I was playing the game at the same time. Some of these items I found in raids, so I didn't add it into the cost. And then most of it, I was just buying off of the flea market. So as you guys saw in the time lapse, we did end up selling everything. And that is going to be this number right here. We sold everything for 23 million and 717,000 983 rubles so as you can see big big difference right there in price points between what we spent and what we made so the number that you guys are finally waiting for you maybe you did the math in your head or you did it on a calculator but in total for seven days worth of average normal crafting we made 14,125,000 587 rubles and that is just pure profit now most of that is going to be from the bitcoin farm i get that i totally understand but the bitcoin farm is a part of making money in the hideout and even if you subtract that go ahead and take off like seven mil or whatever because bitcoin is absolutely insane right now at like 820k a piece but if you go ahead and subtract seven mil even off of just all the other crafts we made seven mil alone on just those as well but that basically just goes to show you that you absolutely can make a ton 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 of money using the hideout and it's really not that much of a pain to just hop into your hideout after a raid 
rotate through a couple of crafts because not everything's going to get done at once on average i have to rotate between two or three at a time after every raid it takes very little time and this right here using the hideout allows me to have constant money coming in and not have to worry so much about looting especially when i'm doing quests i'm not really worried about looting and making money a great example of this is i've been doing psycho sniper and i forget what it's called but the quest where you have to kill sturman with the m700 i've been doing that for about the last week and a half and during that time frame i have gone through roughly 20 million rubles of just buying guns kits gear all that stuff i've spent an absolute shit ton of money on all of these kits and having the hideout going in the background has allowed me to basically make up all of that money that i lost running all of these kits and it has kept me at basically the exact same number of rubles that i had when i started doing this and i've been running fully kitted out m700s once i finish the sturman quest and move on to psycho sniper i've literally been running an axmc with a flare on it every single raid and i've unfortunately donated about nine of those to other players so my point here is that without the hideout i would just go broke so fast because when i'm doing quests like psycho sniper i'm not even looting the guys that i kill i'm not running around the map looking for money I'm running around looking for players, just trying to kill them and then leave the raid. So I don't want to talk your guys' heads off too much. Most of you are probably gone by now. Most of you probably got the information that you need. But I mainly made this video because pretty much every time I make a hideout related video on how to make money, you've always got those guys in the comments saying, you're just wasting your time. Just play the game. Play the game normally. Blah, blah, blah. If that's how you like to play, great your thing love it for you this is how i choose to play the game and it's kind of funny to see people come into my comments telling me i should play the game differently and i'm just trying to understand how my 150 dollars that i spent on this game gives them the right to tell me how to play it i guess anyways that's gonna do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you learned something hopefully you take something away from this maybe you haven't been using the hideout to its full potential and maybe this video will inspire you to do that if you guys have any questions be sure to leave it down below in the comments and if you have been using the hideout out and making a ton of money let me know what is the biggest haul you've made how much stuff you've saved up and sold all at once and another quick note before we go using the hideout and building up a bunch of crafts and selling everything at once is also a great way to increase your flea market rep which in turn gives you more slots to sell on the flea market so just putting that out there it's just another little bonus anyways that's going to do it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one